a man named Nick from Bulgaria, attended a seminar on generosity. And when he got home, a church group called him and asked if he knew any rich people who could give him money to their church to buy firewood to keep their church building warm. Nick asked if they had enough wood to keep their own houses warm, and they said yes. And he told them if God had blessed them with firewood, they should bring some of the wood to the church. And they said, no, that's our wood. Nick continued, God has already blessed you with the wood, the wood that you need for your church and your homes. It is important to learn to faithfully give from whatever God has given you. Within a few weeks, the church received a winter supply of wood from all the church members. This is a good illustration of Paul's message to the Christian community in Corinth. Each person in the community, Paul says, counts. They're part of the body. Each is important. There's no part that is less important than another. The same holds true for our parishes and the five saints Catholic community. Each of you and me are part of the body of Christ in each of these parishes. Each one of us needs to share our time, talent, and treasure with the parish. We are strong parishes now, but if every me member shared a portion of their time, talent, and treasure, we would be thriving beyond our imagination. I would not say we're thriving yet. We're great parishes, but we can be better. In the coming weeks, we are going to focus on stewardship, particularly of treasure. Not necessarily every week, but here and there and through Lent. The fact that the collection comes up with the gifts of bread and wine signifies how important our money is to our lives. Let's not fool around and say it's not important. It's very important. We can't survive without money. So then our lives, our whole lives, whether it be in family, at work, in school, or in retirement, are meant to glorify God. Everything we have is a gift from God. Someone might say, well, I earned, I earned that wage. I earned, you know, I ran this business so well. But just think of the opportunities that God provides. Your mind, the infrastructure, all the things. You can't ever say that God has not provided. He provides everything. So giving a percentage of the money that we earn or, or have is a sign that we desire to give back to God. For Christians, the principle of stewardship of treasure is this. Giving is an important part of our faith. It is an act of faith. It's not just a matter of covering the bills. We give back to God first because everything comes from God. Now, even though tithing has not been talked about much in the Catholic Church. It is a good guide to be being good stewards of our money. Overall, the recommended amount of tithe is 10%. And some say in our situation, it would be like 5% to the parish, and then 5% to charities and or being part of our Catholic school support and tuition. I know that tithing guidelines are a little more difficult for farmers to follow, but I think farmers too can work out a percentage of the crop or percentage of the sale of livestock into the tithing principle. The great thing about Christian stewardship is that it's not about who has a lot of money and who doesn't. Like the reading from 1 Corinthians reminds us, we have all been gifted in different ways. Everyone gives because we give according to what we have. Now, there are times when 10% could be too much. People do run into bad financial times or might be in serious debt. But giving something, a percentage, and to give it to God first is an act of faith in God who cannot be outdone in generosity. There are multiple stories from people who stuck with tithing, even in hard times, and have been blessed in some way. 
There's a stewardship card in our pews, if you'd pick one up at this time. I'd like each family to take one home, one per family. But on the one side, it says we are called to live the stewardship way of life, and when we share our gifts, we, and there's a number of bullet points. So these are important truths about stewardship. It is a way of life. It's the way of the Christian life. And on the back side is a stewardship prayer. And this stewardship prayer, I would encourage each of us to pray it from time to time and then to prayerfully consider how, we're, how we are doing as stewards of time, talent, and treasure. Because stewardship is a response to God, an act of faith as part of the body of Christ. You also notice in the bulletin for each parish, we have kind of a summary of giving. It's like how many people don't give anything, how many give up to $100, etc. And it's on each of the parish's uh, pages. We hope and pray that through this kind of reflection on stewardship, for now in a couple of months, that we could see the blessing of having 100% of our parishioners giving to the parish. It would be a wonderful abundance.